on IMDb, Patrick Louis Delise says, nice try, Disney. Like the emoji movie ripoff. Disney tried at least, but the formula is certainly not working. Lacks sincerity and looks like a ripoff of the emoji movie. What's that? A bonus review? Deadbull not <laughs> Deadbull 95171 says this movie was made for infants. I will never be able to get into garbage like this, regardless of the skill set it takes to design. A rating approaching here eight is demoralizing. It means that this site's popularity and voting averages are determined by soulless cyborg children. What? Hello, hello, and welcome to the Roy's Review Podcast. I'm Rob. And I'm Andy. And we are back here today to talk 2012's Wreck-It Ralph. And we have a very fun guest on the program. We have comedian Manny Cruz. Manny, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. It's our pleasure. (laughs) (laughs) So last week on the program, we said we were doing the Super Mario Brothers movie. We sure did. And uh, what happened was that has been scrubbed from the streaming services, I guess. Yeah, it's like nowhere to be found. Uh, it might be, I might just be talking out of my ass, but Nintendo uh, has a history of scrubbing things from existence when they don't like the kind of vibe that it gives. Like, you can't find some of those uh, third-party Zelda games and Mario games like Motel Mario or whatever it is. Can't find that shit anymore. Or it's, like, really hard to find it now. Yeah, it costs you, like, $300. No. I spent $300 on a game from 1985. And it fucking sucked. Yeah, well done, asshole. Yeah. There's a lot of things that, like, it's really hard to find these days. Like, I remember seeing that movie on Netflix now. It's like Netflix is super careful about what the hell they put out. Uh, and so maybe that movie was just so ass. They're like, oh, no movie, like, no no freaking subscription service would be, like, humble enough to have that on their service. It was so shitty. Well, yeah, I, well, I, I know that yeah. um, the higher-ups at Nintendo were not happy with that movie. Oh, I wouldn't either. I mean, imagine like giving someone a hundred dollars and like i gave it my best shot like i would be not surprised that was the budget (laughs) (laughs) well that's the thing with the super mario brothers movie coming out it's just like let's scrub this one we're gonna scrub this 1993 one this is going to become the mario movie yeah and i wasn't going to my local video store going do you have a copy of the super mario brothers movie no no Rob had the excellent idea of saying, let's just do Wreck-It Ralph. That's well, a video game movie. What was my original suggestion? Do you remember? Yeah, the Super Mario Brothers show, like the cartoon. Yeah, the Super Show. I watched about three minutes of it, and I was like, I can't do this. Yeah. Oh, man. Is it, it okay. like the big Italian dude? And he's yeah. just like, hey, this is Mario. Or some shit. It, like, it opens more up. like Wario or... It opens up with like a rap. It's like, what are Mario Brothers? And we hear you say. And it does this whole rap thing. And then they come out, they're like, oh, we're plumbers. We got to look neat. And he's like, how are we going to look neat if you've got spaghettis on your shirts? Good Lord. <laughs> and it's like, cue laugh track. Oh, boy. And I think that was the point. I was like, I'm not doing this. I'm yeah, not got, sitting yeah, yeah. through three episodes of this crap. Yeah, we could just watch a good movie. Yeah. Turns out Wreck-It Ralph is a good movie. I've never seen it before. Had you? Me? Yeah. Yes, I've seen Wreck-It Ralph before. All right, how about you, Manny? I saw it maybe when I was like uh, in college, probably, and the theater. Um, And I remember it being like mad funny. Yeah, it was Uh, a good, I I had a good time. Yeah, I actually own it on like Blu-ray. It's fucking, I thought it was a very well done movie. It is. Yeah, I love this movie. I think this movie is a really great... um, I don't want to say a modern-day Toy Story, but they really updated the Toy Story idea with Wreck-It Ralph. 
Yeah. A lot sure. of hardy Easter eggs too. I really yeah. like how um, like hardy boy Easter eggs. No. Like it's no, like, oh I look a ladder. Oh wow. <laughs> That's like Jeff Hardy jumping off of a ladder. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh look a DUI. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um. I really like how they have the Easter egg with the snake when he goes to like tappers. Or, or whatever it's called. Yeah. yeah. Like now, now you bring up the Mario Brothers uh, show. I re- like. I remember the guy from the Tapper w- game was like just exactly sounding. So it's almost like they like brought that motherfucker from there. Uh, so the whole premise of like the bad guy kind of like is sort of relevant in that in that whole hemisphere, you know? Oh shit. Like, I'm at, I could see that. It's just like, yeah, they didn't make it as a tapper, so now I'm going to be a plumber. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> just like bashes things, and he's like, I don't know why it doesn't work, because my other profession is coming to play. <laughs> well, uh, what, should we, what should we do first? Uh, should we ask some questions first? Yeah, I think we're going to ask Mandy some questions here, get uh, to know just... our guest a little bit. Andy, I got three questions for him. What about you? I'll do the same. All right, cool. Hey, Manny, what is your favorite book? The Tale of the Time Being. Uh, Dale Ford, A Time Being. I've never heard of it because I don't read. Oh, man. I, do you use, like, Audible a lot? Um, uh, all right. I will ask you a, another question. Sure. What? Uh, who, who or what are your top three favorite Bands or musical artists? Hmm. Good question. Uh, Thank you. Anderson Pack. Uh, Willie Colon. And I'd Lewis. say lately K Trinado. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Andy is hurt. Uh-huh. It's not the roids. No, Manny. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry, damn. Yes, okay. all time favorite. Yeah, they have so different vibes. Each one of them. Who deserved it? Who deserved what? No, you don't answer a question with a question. It. Who deserved it? It's almost like signing a document without knowing what's on it. I mean, what? Who, who deserved it? <laughs> deserved it. Uh. I'm going to throw the towel in, boys. Oh, he, he logged <laughs> off. He left. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, all right, no, that's cool. We're just going to edit in you saying Casey Anthony's daughter later. Good Lord. <laughs> all right. Um, who are your top three favorite comedians? Gabriel Iglesias, Sam Marill, and Dave Chappelle. Right, all right. Would you rather be a registered sex offender or in prison for the rest of your life? Oh, Jesus. What are you in prison for? It's not a sex thing. I've decided over the course of the thing, it's not a sex thing because, like, if it's a sex thing in prison, you're just getting the shit kicked out of you every day. But, like, you're in prison. Like, there's no chance of parole. Like, maybe it's like murder. You murdered a priest, you murdered a priest and a nun. And a nun. And a nun. Yeah, but you still kill the chick. That's like still bad, dude. And you kill the person. That's even worse. Yeah, but the, like the people. other prisoners aren't gonna like be ch- beating the shit out of you uh, for killing a priest. Oh, they might actually. The nun especially. Okay, so forget I mean, the I, priest and the nun. Sure. Okay. Um, so, so two bad people. No, you didn't kill a bad person. You just you, you just killed some people. You just felt like killing. What? Okay. Crumbobulus um, Michael you just felt like killing. I'm gonna pass. No, you don't get the pass. That's <laughs> the second one in a row, my guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather be a registered sex offender or in prison for the rest of your life? Everyone else, uh, it's an easy question. Uh, no, I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> Like, like, oh my god, like somebody's gonna watch this and just be like, Emmanuel said he'd kill somebody over being a sex offender, or he, he, he did vice versa. No, no, I can't deal with that. Uh, yeah. Well, hold on. <laughs> first of all, first of all, no one's gonna watch this. This is an audio medium. Oh shit! Oh yeah. So you can say whatever you want. 
<laughs> Shit, see? I did it. Uh, All right, Andy, what's your next question? All right, um, since this is a video game movie, what, what, uh, what's your favorite video game? Favorite video game? Um, yeah. ass- Assassin's Creed 2. Okay. okay. You know what? I'm going to ask a fourth question because you passed on two of mine. Ooh, oh, ooh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, yeah. GTA 4 for Runner Up. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. All right, I have a bonus question for you. Mm-hmm. Who is the sexiest animal-based cartoon character? I gotta say Bulma from Dragon Ball Z. Oh fuck! She's here a person. We go. That? No, no. I th- I remember not... as like a yeah. She's like Trunks' mom. Uh, but she's not animal-based. Oh, animal-based? God, it's gotta damn. be animal-based. Yeah. Uh, but it has to be a cartoon character. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. But animal based cartoon characters so much more specific. I understand. It's fucking oh Mufasa, my. guys. It's Mufasa. Andy, I don't like that. Why? I guess I don't care. I guess that's all you, man. <laughs> but like here's the thing. Lions. At least fuck someone away. who'd like uh, you know, freaking not treat you like a piece of shit. Like that well, guy like, would. I need to stress something. When we say animal based cartoon character, like it could, it could be, be like an anthropomorphic like dog or something if you want it to be it could like talk and shit i'm not saying it has to be a like you know i'm not saying you have to fuck a pig but it has to be Thank animal God. based animal based so like think of like All characters right, so like bojack piggy, horseman miss piggy miss piggy's off the table no you no can way. do miss piggy no you can do I'm miss piggy gonna... oh no the voice the voice i don't like the voice oh man <laughs> oh fuck me harder parker <laughs> Dude, I'm from Nick. Like my 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 family's from Nicaragua, so I remember like there was a summer where we, there was like a family function where we, they actually live on a farm and they killed a huge ass pig, and it was like the most gut wrenching shit I've ever heard. And I was like 20 feet away. Like, oh my god. Then this question shouldn't be this difficult to answer. Yeah, true. <laughs> Rob is getting pissed. No, it so I'm, I'm I'm taking Miss Piggy off. I don't want to. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> You dodging, <laughs> you dodging, dodging these the, questions. No, 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 I'm not like, dodging it. Hold on, I'm thinking about an animal. Like Neo like, in guess, the Matrix. Uh, Space Jam. Oh, uh, Lola Bunny. Yeah, Lola Bunny. Okay, okay. okay. that's a good answer. Okay. Yeah. It's probably the. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, Andy, what yeah. year did this movie come out? This movie came out in 2012. Uh, yeah, I was oh. in college. Awesome. You're in college. I'm so old. Freshman year, yeah. Oh my god, that's I feel now old. I'm old. It was like 11 that, years ago, dude. That makes me feel old as well. I, um, my I met my, year. I met my wife that year. Congrats. My yeah. freshman year of college was 2007. Really? Yeah. My freshman year. Oh, mine was 2009. So yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Would you say 2012 was a big year for movies? I would say that because that's yeah. the name of the segment. Wow. Yeah. Ain't that crazy? Zero yeah. Dark 30. Turn on a light. Yeah, more like 30 light zero. Very good. Excellent. Thanks. Um, a movie called Red Lights. It's just about a bunch of cars not going. Nice. Just traffic. Just yes. The Belt Parkway. Mm-hmm. The movie. Someone's ruined the traffic systems in Chicago. <laughs> no one's moved in hours. The Impossible. Uh, I believe that has a young Tom Holland. Oh. It has a sweet little baby boy. Going thwip, 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 thwip. Yep. Oh, the Tsunami wow. movie? Yeah. Uh, impossible. Never more like it. the Impostable. Very good. The bowl of pasta. Let's move on. Possible. We're gonna. <laughs> the first Ted came out. I like Ted. I like Ted, Ted was too. good. Yeah. yeah, Ted was fun. Ted two like T double O or no? T- yeah, T T O O. Because I didn't even bother with the sequel. I like the, yeah. the sequel also. I got a Tom Brady. Is it good? I I heard it was just it was like weird. it was it was, like it was nothing. It was more the yeah. same, but it made me laugh, yeah. and that's all I needed. 
Okay. They really, like, I feel had more celebrities in that one. Like, so they really, like, try to gun on jokes with the celebrity. So it felt like Saturday Night Live with a bear. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I feel like Seth MacFarlane is... Uh, he's good when it's when he's not super comfortable. Like, you know, it's like early Family Guy is like gold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then like the more comfortable they get with all the characters, it just gets like half-assed. I don't yeah. know. Something about it. it just loses its luster a lot of times. So I, I don't know, just a sequel to its first success. I figured like, yeah, it was probably going to be more self-referential and like less clever, you know? I don't know. Yeah. Um, Prometheus, you ever see that? Prometheus and Bob. Oh, that movie was ass. That yeah, movie's a big, big old waste of your time. Yeah, it was. I want my like twelve ninety nine or thirteen ninety nine, whatever it was. But I want that back, but I can't. The movie Death Grip. I'll tell you what. I'm just looking for a lady with a death grip. You know what I'm saying? You I know, know what, what you say, saying? Robbie. Hey, Robbie. I know what you say, Robbie. We're all married men. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is 40. You ever see This is 40? No. Yeah, with Paul Rudd. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. Um, it, yeah, it was okay. It, it's uh, the Judd Apatow type thing. Sure. Yeah, M- Megan, Megan Fox is in that movie. Um, yeah. yeah. Whenever I talk with uh, a lot of my male friends about Megan Fox... They're always like, Yo, she's so fucking hot. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. She's not unattractive, but I don't, mm. I don't get it. Okay, Andy. Well, I'm sorry. Her looks aren't up to your standards. Well, maybe I'm, she should I'm try sure, harder. Yeah, I'm sure she's really concerned. Why don't you send her a tweet, Andy? Let her know. You know, I think I will. Right <laughs> now. Oh, Andy, Andy, don't do that, my guy, Andy. Andy, that's a hey, bad Megan look. Fox. Oh, Andy. Yeah. No. You're not my type. <laughs> oh You're not boy. My type. <laughs> She's probably gonna like be at a like at a dinner party somewhere because it's Thursday night. Burst into tears. And then she's like, "You're not my type." And she's, <laughs> oh man. Imagine she has like a Britney Spears moment. That's like the cherry on top to the Hollywood Sunday. <laughs> All because of Andy's. Yeah, not my type. <laughs> Andy has like a group straw. chat full of Andys, and they all just like simultaneously tweeted at the same person. Eh, Twitter's already just a group full of Andys. <laughs> <laughs> the movie That's My Boy came out in 2012. I saw that in theaters. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. That was so stupid. I love that. It was very stupid. You ever seen it? Yeah, there's oh, a Watson. movie about this guy Lincoln. I don't, I don't know what that's about. Vampire Hunter. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yo, the campaign. Robbie and I saw that together in theaters. Yeah, yeah. That was good. You guys remember the dogs uh, that that was, like, getting replaced by the, the Golden Retrievers? I don't even remember the movie. I believe Andy, but I don't remember the movie. Shit. I actually don't, don't. I remember he punches a baby. Yeah. That was, like, that in was the funny. trailer. Uh, I remember. The trailer started um, to suck. I remember, uh, uh, nope, I don't, don't remember. Very good. Thank you. Did Django Unchained? Yeah, oh. that was The awesome. Jengus. Uh, this actually was not a very big year for movies. No, really. Oh, The Avengers. Oh, Avengers never mind. One? That was huge. That's huge. Yeah, that was fucking great. Jesus Christ. Ever since they didn't, uh, really... I feel like they did better, but I never felt as good as the first one. You know, I uh, recently went to a party with, and um, I was talking to, to this guy, and he was, we were talking about Marvel, and he was like, "You know what Marvel's problem is? Is they were too good, and now everything that's coming out is not as good, and we're all like, it's shit." And I was like, "Oh shit, that's a good point. Yeah, correct." Uh, Marvel was great, like with the Avengers was like great, and then Infinity War was like a whole nother level, level, and then like everything after that is like not as good, and we're just like, boo, but it's actually all, it's around the same quality as the stuff before those huge events. 
It's just we want right. it all to be you. But also, uh, I like, don't, keep in I mind. I don't think it's the same quality. I think yeah. their reliance on the volume has seriously hurt the quality. Uh, I, yeah, I agree with that. I also agree with uh, now you can't rely on that formula because we're like 30 movies deep. Yeah. So the formula needs to change. For mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but, um, I'm a child. Okay. As we all know. And yeah. I had to laugh at this. There's a Twilight parody movie called Breaking Wind. That's actually, that's incredible. <laughs> I, I'm like, oh, that's good. Good. You got me. That's you got very, me. Very good. I am but a man. <laughs> that's but a man. That's good stuff. I'm a butter man. I'm and made out of butter. I'm a butter man. Yeah. Yep. He <laughs> dreams in mod modern. I don't know. <laughs> wow. That sounded very 90s. I like the, the vibe you're going with. It was Pearl Jam. Oh, Butter Man. okay. But I never listened to Pearl Jam. Except oh, for that fair. one, there was a song uh, that they had in this movie called uh, Rain Over Me. Yes, with, it's uh, called Love Rain. It's called Love Rain Over Me. It's a Who cover. Yeah. Love Rain Over At the end of the movie? Yeah, but the whole movie you think is based off. Wait, but the soundtrack is in that. Like, I mean, they that album, that. that album they listened to in that movie, Quadrophenia is a Who album. That like whole the album they listened to was them. Is, dang. That yeah, is amazing. I like, to, I like to jam pearls in my butt. Very good. It's a very, very expensive oh, hobby. Right. Yeah. Very expensive hobby. You know, that's why I feel like most people who are like mad spiritually woke with the rocks, like that's probably why they're still so like judgy and bitchy. Like, I don't know if that's like a stereotype that you guys feel. Because <laughs> they got rocks like, in their ass? Yeah, they're, they're, just, they're just like, oh shit, I just shoved quartz. I, I'm sorry, being a dick. I got to like meditate on it. I feel more holy. I'll feel better <laughs> after I shove this granite in my asshole. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's crystals in my fucking throat. And you're just like, wait a minute. Those aren't supposed to go there. In your throat? Maybe. How far up did they go? <laughs> far down or far up. God damn. Some people are just taking it too risky. All right. This, there's actually a lot of like sleeper good movies mm -hmm. in, in, in this year. We got uh, The Place Beyond the Pines. You ever see that? No. Uh, Ryan the Goose uh, Gosling. Oh, the Goose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, right uh, around the same time, like 2011, like he had the movie Drive come out, I think. Yeah, Drive was good. <laughs> and uh, that followed up right after. Yeah. So I wasn't sure if that was like going to be worth the watch. Uh, so none of you watched it. I never seen to Drive. It's good. He, drive is a good ass movie. He doesn't say shit. He just drives mad good. Well, it's uh, definitely not he, false advertising, then. He fucks yeah, people up. Yeah, Drive. Yeah, the soundtrack Actually, on that's pretty dope, too. Speaking of false advertising for the movie Drive, a lot of people were mad because they thought it was it was kind of advertised as, like, a Fast and Furious-type movie. And then it was, nah, like, dude. way more it's, not it's, Fast and Furious-type movie, so people were like, right. this isn't what I came for. The I fast... wanted more explosions and stupid freaking misogyny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and instead, it was more like the fast and the furries. It was just people who dress like cheetahs. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Robert says thank you. Robert. All right. You ready to get into ruin it, Raphael? Oh, you mean destroy it, Dennis? Ah, I got destroy it, Desmond. Ah. <laughs> How about delete it, Daryl? Ooh, that's good. How about... Bulldoze it, Barry. Very, very good. Detritus, David. I don't know what detritus is. The detritus is like, uh, like debris. Okay. Wait, waste. How about level it, Larry? That's good. I got lay waste to it, Larry. Okay. No. Yeah. Quash it, Quentin. <laughs> We're in the UK. <laughs> Um, wreak havoc on it, Harold. Fuck it up, Phil. Ooh, that's good. I got fuck it up, Frank. That's good. Decimate it, Donald. I like it. Send it tits up, Tommy. <laughs> that's good. 
uh, ravage it, Ronald. <laughs> Ronald. <laughs> Sabotage it, Sally. Very good. Very good. Uh, leave it desolate, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Muck it up, Mike. Ooh. Damage it, Daniel. Blemish it, Barbara. <laughs> and finally, I have sabotage it, Sam. Impair it, Ian. Ian. <laughs> well, thanks Deface for tuning it, in. it, David. Thanks for tuning in to the Roy's Review Podcast. Harm it, Harold. <laughs> you know what? You got one more? Let me hear it. Let me hear it, because these are good. Ban jacks it, Brian. The fuck is that? I don't know. One of the I typed in synonyms for destroy, and banjax is one of the words came up. Banjax. And the example it gives is he banjaxed his knee in the sixth game of the season. So here are the here's the definition for banjax. It's 1930s, originally Anglo-Irish. Half of that is cool. Third person present. Banjax is past tense. Banjax past particle. Gerund. I don't know if that. Uh, it doesn't give me the definition of of it at all. Uh, it's Irish slang to batter or ruin. Banjax. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he banjaxed his knee. Look at that. Well, you know, we're all getting a little cultured here on the Roids Review yeah. podcast. With the best culture, the Irish culture. Arguable. For mm, sure. Not arguable. That's the thing. Mm. Speaking of Irish, how about Bomb It Bill? That's that I, it's all right. Shatter it, Sheldon. Okay, better. That's definitely better. Okay. Knock it down, Nick. Good. These are good. Yeah. Annihilate it, Amy. I'm going to stop. Okay. <laughs> we All can right. talk about... What's the actual name of the movie we're doing? Uh, Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph. R-E-K-I-T Ralph. E nope. <laughs> what? So... My first note for this movie, other than, you know, all 19 of those stupid names, all that time we just wasted of yours. Yes, um, yes. Mm-hmm. This is Toy Story, but with video games. Yeah, yeah. But they're but, less, they, they hide it less. Yeah, it actually separates itself from Toy Story pretty well. Like, almost immediately. Because they don't really care if people notice that they're, like, running around. Yeah, and it's like clearly its own thing right i en- i enjoy it well even in toy story the villain toys in toy story they still you know corpse when yeah. humans come in but in this like turbo is just like i don't give a fuck let them see me yeah yeah turbo tastic well um i love the 8-bit disney title screen yeah, that's good. Inject that shit into my veins. You're going to die. Yeah, probably. Um, I like the aesthetic of this movie. I like. I mean, I'm a I'm a fan of animation generally, and also genitally. Very good. Yeah, thank you. Um, I like to draw penises oh, and boy. vaginas, <laughs> genitals generally, and genitally, but um, genese quali. Very good. I think this movie looks very good. Yes. And the cast is very good. Everyone crushes it in this. I think this is a very good movie. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Um, All right. This... Let's get into questions. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really surprised me, honestly. Like, I, I normally like Disney, like, but usually with most Disney things, I'm like, that was good. Like, okay. there wasn't anything bad but it wasn't it didn't blow any hot air up my skirt this was very good i thought it was excellent um like you said everybody's crushing it voice acting wise and it looks good and it's got heart and it's funny it's interesting uh it's well written uh, it it's there's no plot holes there's no like there's nothing Everything gets tied up. There's nothing that yeah. gets dropped. And like things happen and then other things happen because of those things. It's just good. It's right. good. Nothing just happens. If something happens, it's setting up something either right away or later on. Yeah. Yeah. Just 
good stuff. This is a good movie. I agree. I love the opening scene with the Bannon that we're meeting all the bad guys. I think that's incredible. Oh, yes, yes. Great stuff. And Great Ralph stuff. stealing the cherry from Pac-Man and getting stopped by the security guard. Yeah, and he's getting, like, profiled. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's getting a, profiled, he's but, he's still, but he still did do something that he shouldn't do. He did do. do the thing. And that, that, that was one of my questions, but I think I'll just say it now. Do you think, like, especially in the beginning, is this a social commentary? I don't really think so. No. I don't know. I feel like it's like a class thing. Like Ralph is the lower class. He lives in garbage. And See, everybody I, is having a good time in the hotel. I think this is more, this, the lesson to be learned is everybody has their worth. Everyone plays their part. Yeah. And, I think ultimately that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's tough to say a, a class or a societal thing because it's a, a video game. Yeah. But like, Pixar especially, I know this isn't Pixar, but Pixar especially is pretty, I mean, they got turn, turning red. Yeah. You know, like that's about, that's about anal leakage. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. nope. Oh my goodness. Got to give that a rewatch. That's also a very good movie. Didn't see it. Ooh, you should see it as good. I don't like red pandas. Who doesn't like red pandas? I don't know. That's, that's a <laughs> stupid thing to say. It's <laughs> a really stupid thing to say. <laughs> They're adorable. They really are. (laughs) I don't like that's his reason. (laughs) Uh, I don't like that we're getting so woke. Yeah. Yeah. Give me the regular pandas. Yeah. If they ain't eating bamboo, they're not pandas. (laughs) Hashtag not my panda. I love Sonic giving the warning about dying outside your own game. That's a great way to give exposition without yes. just like hitting it over the head or wasting time. Yeah, perfect. Because you know anybody. I mean, at this point, adults too. You see Sonic on screen. You're like, oh, shit. And then he's mm-hmm. talking like, oh, shit, I'm going to listen. And right. then he says some really important shit. If you die in any other game, you're dead for real. Whoa. What? <laughs> and yeah, I, I also think it works because they're in Game Central Station, which is hysterical love that pun yeah and if you go to these big train stations they have these psas you know they have see something say something yeah they, mind the gap right so that makes sense and it works in the world that they would have a an led billboard of one of the characters one of the most well-known celebrity video game characters sonic the fucking hedgehog being like you will die yeah yeah what about what about Cubert? Oh, homeless Cubert. You know, do you think homeless Cubert's doing things with that little snout for money? One could only hope. If Ralph sneaks Cubert into the back one time. Oh, oh come God. on! I'm lonely. <laughs> come on. Oh uh, man, inappropriate. Come on, he reminds me of Birdo. He does. Of he does kind of, yeah. Look at He's that snout. Birdo. Come on, like, you've done it too. <laughs> I feel like Hubert probably came first, right? Because he's been a while, or he's been around for a while. Before Birdo. Bird- oh yeah, I think yeah. Birdo was fairly Bird- recent. Yeah, Birdo's like Mario Party or some shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Nobody fucking cares, Birdo. I cannot wait for us to have a- an excuse to Reddit Birdo NSFW. In fact, Andy, uh, Andy, why don't you do that now? We'll wait. So Andy is now going to go to Reddit because he wants right. to do this, and he's going to type in Birdo NSFW, and he's not going to show me. Okay, well, and I've come. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Am I actually doing this? No, you don't have to. I was kidding. Oh, damn it. I mean, (laughs) Ralph Rex Felix's uh, 30th anniversary party. He argues with some loser about cake toppers. I cracked up at Felix dying and then respawning. It's like, dun, yeah. dun, 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 and everyone is stunned. Everyone's mortified at first. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh! I thought that was really fun. Yeah, it was good. I also like how when he splats the cake, all the splats on the wall are like pixelated. Yes. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, I know we mentioned the cast before. Jack McBrayer, perfect choice. He really was. Fix it, Felix Jr., ma'am. Yeah. Good and everything. Um, Jane Lynch, also great choice. Good and everything. 
awesome as the lead soldier. Calhoun yeah. or whatever the name is. I I don't remember, but just perfect. She she you don't know she was programmed with the saddest backstory of all yes. time. Great stuff. I was watching a thing recently and they were talking about that. And they made a great point that so they she says at one point in the movie that the cybugs turn into what they eat. Okay. So it's implied that when she had to kill her own fiance or when she killed the cybug, it looked like her fiance. Yeah. So she had to like in her mind kill her own yeah. husband. Wow. Which let's be honest, that's every married woman's dream. At some point. So she would have got point. there sooner or later. Yeah. I don't get the problem here. Well, <laughs> um, I did not see her and Fix It Felix falling in love. And when they hint at it, like with the slow-mo yeah. and like the music, I was like, that's hilarious. I outwardly laughed. I said, yes. this movie's great, is what I said. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this this is a real great. knee slapper. <laughs> Did, did this movie make you feel anything? Not really. I mean, it does a good job towards the end of it, but I don't really, it's hard for me to feel things during a game, especially when it's like, they are video game characters. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't, like, when, what got me, like, I didn't cry or anything, but I felt something in my, in deep within my my plums. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um. Like, when um, King Candy shows up and he's like, hey, you know, if she... Um, if she crosses the finish line, everybody's going to die. And he's like, oh, shit. Like, he believes him. Right. And so she, he, like, breaks the cart in front of her. And she's like, no. I was like, god damn. Yeah. God damn, yeah. man, that's cold. And I'm sure that scene really took you back when Ralph's destroying the cart, hearing a young girl scream, no, stop. You know, Rob, uh, this is damaging. This is damaging yeah, yeah. to to my my image. Uh and hey, it it also brings me back. Like you did, said. <laughs> hey, did it move for you when she used the term diaper baby? No. Good. Good, good, good. Did it move for you? No. <laughs> that wasn't very convincing. But also did what move? I don't know. The volume. I was like, what'd they say? And I turned up the volume. Oh, that's okay yeah. then. Yeah. I was crying because I'm My a child. My penis moved. Oh, no! <laughs> because I'm a child, <laughs> I was laughing at Vanellope with the hero's duty. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, make the same joke whenever anybody's like, yo, you play Call of Duty. Is it Call of what? <laughs> and they're like, Andy, you're 32. <laughs> Did you see the twist coming? The first time I saw it, no, I don't think so. That shit comes out of nowhere, and it's very good. See, I don't think it's out of nowhere. I think it's set up really well. That's that's what I mean. Yeah, okay. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's like, because everybody's like, oh, you going turbo? And he's like, no, man, I'm not going turbo. I'm not, I'm not, no, man, I'm not, I'm not doing any of that. Well, the first so who, like, one who asks it is King Candy. Yeah. You're not going turbo, are you? I don't know if he's the first one. I think I some think other people. I think he's the first one. It. First time we hear the term "going turbo," because hmm. he's still in that big like goop of cake. Yeah, you might be right. You may be right, and I may be crazy. But it just may be a lunatic you're looking for. Hmm. Hmm. Turn out the lights. Don't try and save me. I forget what he says. Same here. All right. Billy Joel sucks. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> Long Island's going to kill you. Yeah, I know. No, our listenership is going to drop now. Because <laughs> I insult Billy Joel. Yeah, well, you know, the Captain Jack will get you hiding. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not very familiar. Like, I know it because I'm from the Long Island. That's all they play. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't, I didn't do any digging, you know. Yeah, well. Sing us a song. You are the piano man. I, I'm actually not very good at piano. Oh. Well, uh, Rocket Man, I think it's going to be a long, long time. That's John Elton. Oh, well, imagine there's no heaven. That's John Lennon. Oh. This is just piano songs, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I'm getting in tune. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> you know what I love? This whole movie. No, uh, one of the hints that King Candy isn't from that game is he doesn't know the secret level that Vanellope sneaks into. Yeah. Yeah, there's very subtle hints throughout. And it's, it's again, very well written. Like the whole, oh, shit, you're going turbo thing. And then like, oh, turbo, he went into another game. Like they finally explain it. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, okay. So that's what happened to that character. And then the main villain is that character. Boom. Good stuff. Especially because they really make you believe he's dead. Yeah. Like they shut down the, they they pulled the plug. Right. But also Alan, Alan Tudyk crushing it as per usual. You know, sometimes I get called Alan because I got two dicks. I want to be mad, but that's really good. That's really good. <laughs> Alan, two dicks. That's good stuff. You know, I saw a thing where, like, he plays a lot of voices uh, throughout Disney movies and stuff. Yeah. And um, he's also the Joker on and Clayface on the, the Harley Quinn show. Yeah, he's incredible. Yeah, he's great. I saw a thing where he he's doing the chicken from uh, Moana. And he's like, what and then he's like he just looks at the camera he's like i went to juilliard <laughs> it's fucking gold do you think when he's gold. doing the chicken like someone's like yo frank welker's gonna be coming for you man you're doing animals <laughs> that's the welkman's job the welkman the welkman yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this movie uh it's got heart got it's got everything i love this movie i don't know if i made that clear you you've made that pretty clear that you enjoyed this yeah no this is like a 10 out of 10 for me but um uh when he's uh, first off i love the in the beginning like you said the the meeting with all the bad guys and we got sick cameos like bowser we got we got um uh zangief we got that guy who's really kano but he's not kano but he's kano because they didn't have they probably didn't have the rights yeah and um they got the rights for Street Fighter, not Mortal Kombat. Yeah. And who else is there? The Which, Dr. Robotnik, right? I do wonder what the reason was. Because it's Disney. It's not like it's a money thing where Disney's like, we just we can't pay. We don't have the money for it. Yeah, I don't like, know. Cause... Do, you, do you think it was like a Who Framed Roger Rabbit thing where one franchise was like, no, if you have them, we're not going to be in it. I don't know. It's like in Who Framed Cause... Roger Rabbit, like Bugs Bunny and Mickey Mouse had to be on screen at the same time the whole time. Yeah. For the them same to work. With, like, uh, I think they did it with Donald and Daffy. Yeah. So I'm wondering if they were like, like Mortal Kombat was like, no, like, uh-uh. If they don't get more screen time than us or vice versa. And they just went, fuck it. Let's just use one of them. Let's just choose one. And then we can yeah, just imply one is Kano. So I'm trying to think who owns Mortal Kombat. I know it was Midway, but Midway folded. So that way is pretty mid. Nice. You know what else Midway did? NFL Blitz. <laughs> you, you know what I saw? I went to Best Buy the other day and uh, I went with uh, guests of the pod, Sam. Oh, Sam. And mm-hmm. The very same. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we saw like they had a little video game section with uh, like cabinets. Mm-hmm. And I saw like Pac Man and like Miss Pac Man. I was like, cool, cool. But I kind of just glanced and walked by. He was like, yo, they got NFL Blitz. And I was like, yeah, fucking right. He was like, no, dude, they have NFL Blitz. And I turned and they have a fucking cabinet with NFL Blitz and NFL Blitz 2000. Now, I didn't read it because I was like, holy shit, they got NFL Blitz. I was like, yeah, but the best one's NFL Blitz 2000. He's yes. like, dude, it's on there. And he's like, I was like, no, fuck it. Wait. He's like, look, dude, just look at it. <laughs> I'm looking at it. I was like, holy shit, it does. So I snapped a picture of the fucking barcode because I was like, maybe I'll, maybe at some point. Just like put that shit in my basement. But like, it's like $500. Fuck that. And I was like, oh, I already own these games on P- PlayStation 1. Like I could yeah. still play them. Why would I buy a cabinet? But like, I also want it because I'm a consumer whore. Yes, I understand. Shit. Anyway, Kano. No, wait. Anyway, the, the, uh, the, uh, uh, what's it called? The, oh, the, the meeting. They have the, 
the pledge that they have. Like I'm, I'm bad, and that's good. I noticed how one guy took a knee during that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not standing for the pledge. He was from NFL Blitz too. It's funny. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Yeah. And uh, then you know what? They didn't let him back in bad. No, they didn't. Anymore. They yeah. didn't. Yeah. All the owners colluded against him. Yeah, I hear he's got shoes or something though. Yeah. That's good. Good for him. Yeah. Anyway, the uh I like how at the end when he's gonna make the big sacrifice, he's saying the pledge to himself. Yes. I was like, ooh. Ooh, this is a good movie. <laughs> That's a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh again, uh Sarah Silverman, uh, you know, we're talking about the cast, fucking crushing it. She's so good in this because she's she's very good. I mean, you know, as good as John C. Riley is in this, he's not really doing too much of a voice. No, he's but he's got like the voice, you know, yeah. He's, he's, got, he, yeah. he's got the right voice for it. Sarah Silverman's doing this great voice where it almost sounds like she's doing the same character that she does in Bob's Burgers. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait, who is she in Bob's Burgers? Um, for the two twins, Ollie and Andy, whatever the names are. Yeah, that's she right. She does that's one, right, and I think right. her sister's the other one. Yeah, okay. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, well, that's because you're silly. I haven't watched Bob's Burgers in a long time. It's one of those shows where like you watch it and you like it and then you just kind of you kind of fall off and you're just glad that it's still around. Yeah. It's kind of like King of the Hill, you know? Dun, like, I used to watch it. But like yeah. I was just like, oh, I'm glad that's it. and then like it was getting canceled. I was like, oh man, but like I didn't watch. What am I fucking Yeah. You know, well, it's like all fault. the people who haven't watched The Simpsons in 20 years, and then they got mad that they changed some of the voice actors. Yeah, like, it's been three decades, guys. Well, no, they got mad because, like, they changed, like, some of the, like, Dr. Hibbert is now played by, like, a bl- black voice actor. Oh, get the fuck and over people it. people got, like, upset. It's like, guys, you haven't, what was the last time you watched an episode? Yeah. Like, you're disconnected from this now. Like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. But yeah, the King Candy, great, great villain. Loved his voice. He's get, he's like, oh, you know, like yeah. very funny, very, <laughs> very good stuff. He just um, glazed me. Yeah, it's perfect. It's fucking perfect. You hit a man with glass. Oh, that was well played. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking gold. Oh, yeah, it was fucking great. Great, and um, just everything, everything, um comes back like there's nothing just there for for no reason like even the mountain like the secret level like the mentos falling into the the cola yeah check off's breath mint yep check off's <laughs> volcano of soda <laughs> <laughs> but like everything comes back and it's just very well written it's airtight it's fuck this is a great movie yeah yes surprise the living shit out of me This is one of my favorite movies we've done for the podcast. I'm not even joking. Hey, what's the difference between Turbo and Ronald Reagan? Oh, I don't know what. Turbo says he's the greatest racer ever. Well, Ronald Reagan was the greatest racist ever. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Robert says thank you. Very good. Very good. Um, You know what bothered me in this movie? What's that? How we are indoctrinating children. We mean? get this kiss between Fix It Felix and the sergeant. We're telling kids it's okay to kiss a short man. <laughs> get this out of what are we doing? Disgusting. Disgusting. Okay. Okay. Indoctrinating. This is grooming. It's grooming. He says yeah. he says it's grooming. Yeah. Anything I don't like is grooming. Okay. <laughs> Anything I don't like is socialism and grooming. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's woke woke culture. Yeah. Some guy was was petting my dog. I said, "Hey, you grooming him?" And he said, "Yeah, I am." I said, oh. <gasps> and then I realized I took him to the to the groomer. He was trimming his nails and shit. <laughs> Quit like, grooming my dog. <laughs> you paid me for this service. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, I'm not giving you your money back, sir. <laughs> I mean, I honestly I don't have that many notes because I just. It's just a good fucking movie. Yeah. <laughs> I do like when Ralph comes back and Gene is like, I don't know, he's like hanging out waiting for Ralph. And Ralph's like, what are you doing, Gene? And Gene's like, I'm doing cocaine, Ralph. You don't want no part of this shit. 
takes all your bad feelings and turns them into good feelings. I think I'd like to try me some of that cocaine. <laughs> Every like time. Go, go, go. Every time I heard the voice, I just I kept thinking of walk hard. Yeah. No, I mean, that's that is John C. Riley's shining achievement. Ah, he won an Academy Award. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Yeah. Good. Not for a Good. walk hard. Oh, yeah, for Chicago, right? Yeah. yeah. John C. Riley, let's not say walk hard is his shining achievement. I it's mean, a great movie. Look, look, he's not only is he hilarious and that movie is gold. Yes. But he's doing very good acting in that movie. I agree. Like that he's crying. Right. Like in a funny seat, but he's genuinely crying. Like when it was, when when um Pam from the office is like, you have to stop with the with the drugs or whatever. And he's like, I'm so sorry. And then he like pops the PCP like right there. And she's like, What did you just put in your mouth? It's like, no. <laughs> it's like, PCP. Yeah. Uh, he like lifts a car. Yeah. <laughs> what well, let's go movie. drop acid with the Beatles. Yeah. <laughs> ah, fuck me. I can see my large colon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, uh, 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 that movie's uh insanely good, but also uh. I forgot what I was saying about this movie, but well, you know what? I love all John C. Riley movies. <laughs> okay. Because I love that movie. Even and Holmes and Watson. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot about that. I didn't see it either. I don't I think anybody saw that. No. I don't think that movie's real. <laughs> it does not exist as a figment <laughs> of our imagination. Yeah. Um, King Candy says he has a fungin. And I think that's what Matt Gates calls the basement he keeps teens locked up in. Fucking got him. I'm fucking flying here. Fucking got him. Speaking of grooming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When Ralph makes a track for Vanellope, yeah. I think that's a great scene, but hearing pop songs takes me out of it. Uh, I think it depends on the song. That was just shut up and drive because Wait, they're they driving. say drive. Yeah, they're driving, so let's put shut up and drive on. Okay. Probably a little harder. Yeah, I didn't love that. It's kind of like what you said with uh, Forrest Gump. A lot of it is like, like when he's running, they're playing a song about running. Yeah. Like, okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So the fun don't stop. Like, I'm done. <laughs> don't stop till you get enough. Speaking of grooming. Oh, um, whoa. <laughs> well, uh, well, like I said, like we said, uh, seeds are planted in this movie and they are they grow, you know, like everything. I just I feel I'm just repeating myself. This is just a good movie. It is. It's I very well written. I going back to when Calhoun says that the cybugs turn into what they eat, the colors of all the different cybugs at the end coming out yeah. and they're just all different colors and they're polka dot. That shit's incredible. I just because yeah. I'm a guy who loves color. I love the whole world of Sugar Rush. Yeah. Which cool. first off looks like a game I would play the shit out of. Yeah. It's like Candy Crush and Mario Kart. Yeah. So Sugar Rush, I would totally play, but I love how everything is candy. And it also makes me wonder with all like the Nesquik sand and the Oreos and, you know, all these different brand names that they had, like the Laffy Taffy, how much product placement. Like, how much budget do you think they got just through product placement alone? Like, do you think this movie cost Disney anything to make? Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't mean, like, okay, I know this movie costs money. Yeah. But, like, what I'm saying is, with all the product placement, because these brands pay for product placement. Yeah. Like, do you think Disney, like, this was already, before they before the movie even hit theaters, they've, or they had already broken even because they didn't really spend that much money. Because you had Laffy Taffy, you had Nesquik, you had Oreo, you know, Nabisco throwing in money. Um, I think it's probably it it's probably like based on how much time they're in the movie. I like agree. there's a whole scene with Nesquik sand. Nesquik sand, yeah. Yeah. Uh there's a whole there's a just a little snippet with the Oreos where they're Oreo. Yeah. Uh and but yeah, with this I, level I think, of product placement, I just have to think that Disney was given a ton of money, which I don't shit on them for. I think it was done oh, really no. well. 
You know, I, yeah. if you do product placement well, go for it. Yeah, and like you've seen, like there's, I think it was like Fast Eight, I saw, and like in the beginning, like Vin Diesel's about to get into a car, and he's like, "Yo, give me a Coke." Yeah. And somebody gives him a Coke, and he drinks it like label out, and it's just like the camera holds on him finishing this Coke, and then putting it down. He's like, "Refreshing." It's like, okay, this is bad product placement, right? Not that any product placement is good, you know, but like you could use it well. Like the, the Oreo best... thing was yeah. great. Like it's a play on Wizard of Oz and it's Oreos. Hilarious. Exactly. Well, yeah. that's the thing. I think product placement, like you said, you have to do it well. Product placement can work well in like sports movies and stuff. Right. Yeah. You know, and in this, I just think I I just think there was so much product placement that Disney made money before the movie even came out. I'm sure it took a nice chunk out of their budget. Yeah. You know, because I also wonder, did how much did Disney have to pay to get the other video game characters into the movie? You know, did those things almost offset each other? Because, well, you know, Sonic and Sega is not going to pay to have Sonic put into the Wreck-It Ralph movie. Disney would probably uh, have to pay for Sonic. Sonic doesn't need advertising. I don't know, because Sega is an anomaly in that way because Sega, you know, they used to be on top of the world and then they fucking fell so hard. Yes. So I think, I don't know, uh, you know, it might have just been like a free thing. Like, yeah, you could use Sonic. But that's very possible. But I don't think Sonic was paying to be put into the game. Uh, Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I doubt it. I bet they asked and they were just like, sure. Yeah, either they asked or had to pay some money to get these guys in as opposed to the product placement where yeah. any product placement you're getting paid to put that shit in because in that case, if they couldn't do, if like Oreos gave them a hard time, they could have gone to another cookie company. Yeah. All right. All right. Fuck it. Now. It, all right. Instead of that, now the Keebler elves or the guards or some shit. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Although is that candy or is it cookies? But Oreos are cookies. Oh, Oreos. That's true. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah. I don't know. You know, when I when I saw Sonic and Dr. Robotnik, I said to myself, I've never seen a Sonic arcade cabinet. What's he doing here? Same with Bowser. It's a video game. They're just all connected. Oh, okay. That's how I looked at it. Oh, I didn't true. even think about it. Oh, bless you, Thank sir. Thank you. Thank you. You know, maybe we should see Leisure Suit Larry. I don't know, man. All video games are connected. That would have been funny if you showed up and everybody was like, nah, get out of here. That would have been funny, but there is no way. No he's way like, in hell. He's like, where's the boobies at? <laughs> uh, they had characters from Grand Theft Auto coming in. Yeah. Like, opening how fire. Much? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We get Dutch from Red Dead Redemption. We're going to go to the Haiti, Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to become mango farmers. This came Arthur. out six years before Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, but. He was in Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, he was in the first one two years earlier, yeah. But he wasn't talking all that no. Tahiti mango farmer. No, he was just there to die. Spoiler alert for a 13-year-old game. Yeah. That's a good That's a good uh, franchise, no. let me tell you. Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2 are excellent. I never played Red Dead Revolver. I did a long, long time ago. It was definitely not as heavy-handed as... I mean, like plot wise. Yeah. As I remember, but I could be wrong because, again, I was like 12, but whatever. Good games. Rockstar makes good games. They do. I am a fan. You know what, though? I think they're getting a little, getting a little stale, though, with the way they like, because if you think about it, there is a disconnect from like what you can do in that game. You could really do whatever you want, but then once you accept a mission and you're on that mission, you cannot stray from that path. I don't mind that. There's a bit of a disconnect, you know? I I see that doesn't bother me at all. Because because the rest of the world is such an open world sandbox where it's like, I don't start a mission until I'm ready to do a mission. And like when you're playing these games, you know, you got to understand sometimes these missions will take you 45 minutes. Yeah. Like, and I think it's one of those things where once you know that going into the game, for me, it doesn't bother me because it's like, I knew I was going to start a mission now. 
Yeah. And I, I get it. I get because, like, how do you incorporate the vast world that you built into this one mission? And, I mean, I think a lot of games that are narratively driven suffer from this, but it'll be like, because all that really has to happen to drive the plot forward is like a conversation. Yeah. So, like, it'll just be like, go talk to this guy, and you go talk to them, and then it's like, oh, shit, it's the old, the old Shaughnessy's or whatever the fuck the, the other <laughs> gang was. And, like, now it's a shootout. The old Driscoll's, Andy. Old Driscoll's, there you go. And now it's a shootout, and then you then you got to run away, and then it's a whole thing. But really, the only thing that pushed the plot was the conversation. So, like the Last of Us, kind of had that too, where it was like it's like, all right, plot, 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 plot. Oh shit, it's a horde, or oh shit, it's a bunch of bad guys. I was gonna say, oh shit, you... a whore. I'm getting it wet, baby. Whoa. You'll say anything, but like you you go, <laughs> like you take I went care of them. There. <laughs> you take care of them and then it's like right back to the conversation it's like that is strange uh, I understand that I'm playing a video game so like can't just talk to people that's not a game but uh, maybe just incorporate that in a in a different way I don't know yeah I can understand that because it's a little jarring <laughs> you know it's like yada 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 oh my god See, I thought Red Dead Redemption 2 did that really well, where it just kind of folded into the action after the conversation. Yeah, uh, it can be done well. But after a while, you like after like the seventh time that it happens, you're, you're kind of like, I see a pattern. And I understand that gameplay, you know, games have a gameplay loop, and that's cool. But let's, uh, let's switch it up. I mean, I'm not shitting on Red Dead Redemption 2. It's a fucking masterwork. I think it's their best game, Rockstar. By, I, I think so too. By a Marge Largin. Very good. But um and that oh, it was like me. nice. <laughs> it was like more of an experience than a game. Cause like I've yet to play anything like that. I mean like, the the amount of time it would take to like pick up the can and he'd like in real time like go to yeah. pick up the can. But and like, I'd be and like, at, just cut the can. Yeah. But like at first I was like, this that's fucked. But then after a while, I was like, oh, it's that's immersion. Yeah. It's like immersing you into this world. And it worked because I was I'd just spend hours just riding my horse. Yeah. Riding on a horse. Riding on a horse. <laughs> riding on a horse. And I'm riding on a horse. Well, that's the thing in that first game when you get out of the snow and it's like you're playing in the snow and you almost like force yourself to get through it when you first play it. Because yeah. you're like, this is so slow. And then once that world opens up, you can't get out of it. You're like, I'm here. I just want to live in this world. Yeah. And it, it's that and Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda. Breasts of the Wild. Nice. Yeah, it's about um, tribal boobies. Very good. <laughs> like the opening thing, you're on that plateau and you can't go anywhere else. But it's mm -hmm. also like a huge plateau. It's like the best training area. Because you're like, oh, shit, this is how this game works. And then you get through all that shit. The guy gives you the hang glider. He's like, go. And then you have the whole world. Yes. And you're like, holy shit. I'm going to be honest. I ha I never finished Breath of the Wild because of how big it was. It is a little overwhelming. Well, they don't tell you where anything is. No. And that's my biggest issue with it. Because you're playing this game. First of all, it would have been cool if you have Mario and stuff to see Zelda and Link in this, but whatever. That's weird that they didn't make an appearance. Yeah, well, again, they're not really... Well, Mario has... If anything, they should have had Donkey Kong. Yes, that I agree with. Yeah. But Breath of the Wild, it was so open world. Like, I'm at the point in the game where I've, like, unlocked all four of those thingies and you can go fight Ganondorf and it weakens them and shit. Yeah. And the whole reason I haven't is because then when I see other people play the game, they have, like... So many more circles than I do. So many more hearts. I'm like, where did you find all that shit? Oh, okay. What well, I use the 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 thing, the Zika slate, to uh, you put on the the thing for temples, and it'll like beep when you're close to a temple, and you find all the temples. That's what I did. I found every single temple, got all those things that you could trade in for extra hearts or extra stamina things. Mm -hmm. 
And then I fought Ganondorf. And let me tell you, I wiped the fucking floor with him. Because, like, when you just complete that game, you're absolutely, you're just a fucking brick shit house. And I beat Ganondorf in, like, a minute. And I was like, yeah. oh, that was kind of anticlimactic, actually, because the whole game's building up to you fighting Calamity Ganon. And I just slapped him twice. And he was like, my face! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that was it. And I, it was... Like, I, I looked at how many hours I had in it. It was like 190-something. And I was like, I I think I'm done. <laughs> That's a lot. I had a great time, but I think I'm, I think I'm done. Um, I love that game. It's one of the best games I've ever played. Um, and I just started playing it again in preparation for the new one. And it's still, you know, an incredible thing. But, like, you kind of – even – just because it's been like what, like seven years or something? Yeah, it's like, oh, I kind of want more. I, like I could do anything, but I, I want more, and it looks like they're gonna show us, show us yeah. more in the next one. Well, in preparation for the second one, I'm definitely gonna finish the first one. Um, except I gotta get a new Switch controller because those original Switch controllers are crapshit duty. Oh yeah, I got the Pro controller. That's smart. Yeah, it's. I mean, uh, forget how much it is. But it's cheaper than getting new Joy Cons. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do then. Yeah. Um. Yeah, video games, huh? Yeah. Well, we did this. We did Wreck It Ralph because originally, remember, we were gonna do the Super Mario Brothers movie from '93, prepping for the new Super Mario Brothers movie. Yeah, but uh, L- that was L- scrubbed from the internet. <laughs> yes, it was for some reason. I think Nintendo they have a whole thing. Yeah. I know it's hard to find a lot of their old shitty games that they did like with third parties, like Hotel Mario or whatever. Yeah, Hotel Mario Fornia. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I believe it's. Uh, you ever played Doctor Mario? No, that's just Tetris, isn't it? Ah, uh, it's similar to Tetris. In my house, we call him El Doctor Mariutsky because he's a Spanish doctor, but he's a Polish man. Okay. <laughs> El Doctoro Mariutsky. Stupid. Yeah, it is stupid. Um yeah, video games. Uh what would you say since we're talking about video, what would you say your top three favorite video games? Are? Ooh, okay. Um I'm probably gonna have to say Spyro two, rip those rages up there. Ooh, that's a good one. I love Spyro two. Um All three of those are great. Yeah, the Spyro but- games are incredible. It's probably my favorite franchise but I'm going to avoid saying just the three Spyro games to make it more interesting. Uh, so I'm going to say Spyro yeah. 2. I'm going to say, I got to say Good Red pick. Dead Redemption 2. Sure. You know, we talked about that a lot, but that game was fucking incredible. Yeah. And see, that's the thing. My last one is kind of a cop-out, I guess, because I really like sports games. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's hard, and I don't want to just say one. I play a lot of MLB. I play Madden. Um, but those aren't really games with narrative here's a game i really like as a kid and i played it a few years ago about 10 years ago and i did think it held up pretty well uh the game tomba for the first playstation i remember you talking about that so i really do like the game tomba tomba 2 i played a little bit of it's all right but i really did enjoy the game tomba so for this practice i'm gonna say spyro 2 red dead redemption 2 and the game tomba or tombi for our european listeners wow yeah what about you in no particular order, I would say Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Snake Eater, Snake Eater, Snake Eater. Yeah. <laughs> you can just spam the button that makes her say it. Snake, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, Yeah. I'm doing is... that. My dog heard me doing it, and he just gave me this look like, what are you doing? What? Are... You eating snakes, brother? <laughs> but, uh yeah, that that game uh was incredible, is incredible still. Um It's an incredible edible egg as they say. Incredible edible snake. Very good. Um I would say maybe because I just kind of finished it, but uh God of War Ragnarok was like crazy good. God of War what? Ragdollcock. Thank you. That's my bit. Um and uh, Crash Bandicoot uh, 2. Yeah, you know what? I'm sorry. The newest one. Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Okay. That's my favorite Crash game. 
It's hard as fuck, but I it is hard it. as fuck. How many I lives did it. you lose? There was a level I lost over 200 lives on. Um, probably something around that. I don't think I ever broke 100. No, I think my highest was like 136. It, so it was that one level. It's like very, tor- it might be the last level of the game. And there's yeah, that was- part where you have to like never hit the ground and you're like kind of yeah, like going through those. Use- all the masks. You yeah. Have to use and all of them. Yeah. I was just getting fucked up. I lost so many lives at that point. Ooh, I love it though. I love it. I never 100%ed it because it's fucking impossible. No, but, me neither. Fuck that. Yeah. I, I started getting the gems and then I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm tired of dying. I am going to get the new game, Crash Team Rumble or whatever it is. Is that for the PlayStation as well? I believe so. Okay. Then I, I will get that as well. I think if it's not, I'm not going to get it. Yeah. Cause I heard, I know, uh, Xbox is doing like that Activision purchase, but I don't know if it went all the way through yet. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. No, I don't think, I, I think it'll be on PlayStation. I don't see it being, yeah, it says, it says it'll be on PlayStation. All right. Yeah. So I'm yeah. definitely going to get it. It looks pretty cool. I'm waiting for a new Spyro. Me too. I've been you waiting know? for that for a while. Yeah. I think they're going to announce it in June. Hell yeah. That's that's Robbie's prediction based on YouTube videos he's watched. Yeah, <laughs> and they, and they tell him, "Hey, we think it's gonna be June." So I go, "Okay, I'm gonna say I'll sound like I know what I'm talking about. I'll say June too." <laughs> Real quick, thank you so much for listening. If you want to send us some feedback, send us an email at roidsreview at gmail dot com. That's r o y d s r e v u e at gmail dot com. You could also find our music on Spotify, iTunes, wherever you get your music. By searching The Roids. That's R-O-Y-D-S. We have two albums and a Christmas song. Hope you like it. Do you think that this movie would be better or worse if they use, like, licensed characters? Like, already existing video game characters. Oh, as the stars? Worse. Yeah, oh, I agree. Yeah. Worse I agree. because the conversation around it would be insufferable. I yeah. can't believe they did that with Samus. Yeah. <laughs> People would have brain damage. <laughs> they would. They already do. They already do. Look at the reaction of the Little Mermaid movie. People already have fucking brain yeah. damage. Yeah, oh, I, I can't believe that. I can't look at them. What have they done to Pac Man? Why has Pac Man <laughs> gone woke? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think. Also, just you would you would have expectations for those characters where I think with new characters, they could make those characters. Yes. You know, would you drink hot boiling soda? No, no, I, I barely drink no. regular soda. Yeah, I, I mean, same here. But I'd imagine like warm soda would be bad. You know what? For the record, I don't think I would drink anything boiling. But like yeah. kind of it. Being I don't boiling. I don't know. Like, uh. Imagine just going to some freaking coffee place and going like, yeah, let me get like a fresh cup of coffee. You know how like people don't do it like gulps? That person must be a fucking savage and just like downs it like a beer. <laughs> Drink like three of them shits. Yeah. I can just imagine it now. Person's a coffee fiend. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> Well, uh, you have anything else to say about uh, Ruin It, Stephen? Ruin It, Raul. There you go, Ruin It, Raul. That was good. That was good. Yeah, Andy. Like yeah, you're, you're like, Ruin you're It, like, Stephen, I, was not your I, best could I, effort there. Could I, could no, I, could I, I mean, say it? Could I say it? Uh, I, I went through it. Exactly. Went through <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like this movie a lot. I think it's really good. Yeah, it was good stuff. But it's not okay to kiss short men. I don't understand why we have to indoctrinate children. Oh my goodness, Robbie. Yeah. Question. <laughs> I love this. Do it again. I will. Oh, uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. do, All right, do you think ahead. Felix was getting turned on when the sergeant was hitting him repeatedly to make the laughy? Yeah, like yeah, for sure, for sure. Because he goes like, all right, I can uh, fix it. Uh, feels better. You know, just come Call me stupid. <laughs> Tell me it's small. <laughs> just damage his ego and he fixes it. Tell me how much bigger your ex was. <laughs> damage his ego and he fixes it. Woo, more questions. <laughs> all right.
Next question. You want to go again since I only sure. have one? What happened to the real King Candy? I guess Turbo killed him, right? Yeah, it yeah. dies. I, I really don't him, know the answer. To go. kill him, he would have had to take him out of his game and kill him in another game because he just respawned in his own game. Oh, shit. Dark shit. shit. Brain. Yeah, that turbo guy's a real fucking psychopath. Questions. Are there still <laughs> like arcades like that? Uh, I mean, maybe. there might be. Yeah, now they're just filled with like freaking millennials in the freaking bar in Brooklyn. Yeah, that's like the only one I could think of, like the bar. Cave. Pretty much, yeah. But if you go to the South Shore Mall in Bay Shore, they got a store where it's like half game store, half arcade. You pay like twenty bucks, you could pay, you could play like all the games you want for like as long as the store's open for that given day. Pretty that's dope. Cool. Yeah, I mean, there's that, and then like Dave and Buster's kind of places. Nah, not like that. You're literally playing like classic machines. Yeah, Just... no, but that, that's what I'm. You know, like, but I don't know, like, Dave and Buster's is weird. I hate Dave and Buster's, man. I think you got good chicken tenders, though. You get uh, fucked that's up free on. publicity. We don't do that. I mean, it, it, it's, uh, I don't know. They're, they're, I don't see any arcades, like, with classic machines anymore. Now, like, because yeah. you go to, like, a Dave and Buster's or a round one, it's all, like, the newer, the newer cool guy stuff. It feels weird, like, something... In that nature, like the newer stuff, like just because it's newer doesn't make it feel more fun, I think. But I don't know. I, mean, I, I guess I like it's they're, better. They're... It's like an adult Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, they're fun in their own way. I mean, it's and like a lot of older games, you know, they're just they're fun because of nostalgia. But like, I mean, like, you ever play like Dragon's Lair or whatever it is? Mm. That game? Fuck, fuck that game. I never played that. Though. Way too fucking hard. It fucking sucks. Fuck you. And because they're just designed to eat your quarters, you know? Like, that's how they make their money. Nom, mm-hmm. nom, nom. Pac-Man is fucking that game for sure, but it's still a classic. But I like the fighters. Come on, come on, come on. Or like the basic ass uh, fucking race. You actually had like a seat and you only had like four gears and you drove like really souped up yeah. cars with like shitty graphics. You like make like one little turn and it's like going into three different lanes and crashing into a pedestrian car. <laughs> oh, oh shit. I'm gonna ask this last question before Andy okay, kills somebody. Questions. I think Andy mentioned this before, but at the end of the movie, Vanellope is still glitching. So like that's just her power. Yeah. I think it was her power before that too. So yeah, she, no, I know, she... but like like, if that's just her power, she is overpowered. Yeah, that's why she's, like, the main character of the game. <laughs> she's like, I just jump in front of people. Yeah. I wonder if anybody else in that game has their own power. I think they do, because the other one can, like, light the cherries on fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh... Andy, I got six trivias. I got four. Nice. Manny, do you have any trivia? No, maybe. No, no, no. I don't, okay. I don't think I have so, to do Well asked questions, and the way to buzz in is you just say mm. your name. Oh, uh, okay. All right, so the first person who says their name is the person who gets to answer first. I'll okay. go first because I have six questions. Okay. Question one. How okay. much does Ralph weigh? Is it 443 pounds, 543 pounds, 643 pounds, 743 pounds? Andy. Andy. 643 pounds. It is 643 pounds, yeah. Yeah. Dang. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. What are the donut cops' names? Officers Winchell and Duncan? Officers Crispy and Cream? Officers Duncan and Entimans? Officers Glaze and Sprinkle? Uh, Manny B. No, it's not Crispy and Cream. Damn it. Rob, the first one. Yes, officers Winchell and Duncan. What's Winchell? Is that a donut brand? Apparently, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Dunkin' Donuts? Yep, yes. once or twice. Small hmm. chain. Hmm. On the outskirts of Tuscaloosa. 
Tuscaloosa, huh? Yep. Let me ask you this question, Robbie. All right. What two games are referenced as graffiti on the walls of the subway station as the bad guys leave Pac-Man's world? Is it Final Fantasy VII and Zero Wing? Final Fantasy VII and Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat and Zero Wing? Or Call of Duty and Zero Wing? Andy. Andy. Final Fantasy and Zero Wing. It is, because on the left it says Aerith lives. Yeah. And on the right in graffiti it says all your base are belong to us. Yeah, yeah. That's the, wow. They botched that uh, translation. Yeah. Good stuff. Good that stuff. Good stuff. There's also a reference to Leroy Jenkins. Is there? I missed that yeah. one. Yeah, I didn't. I missed it too. But when I was doing trivia, at, at IMDb said there's a somebody had somewhere like in the background it says Leroy. <laughs> you remember? God that damn it, Leroy. <laughs> Leroy Jake. It's hilarious. Um, Fix It Felix's jump sound is the same as Mario's, but from which game is it? Super Mario Brothers. Super Super Mario World. Super Mario RPG The Legend of the Seven Stars. Or new Super Mario Brothers. I think it's A. Oh, Manny, A. Uh, that is incorrect. Is not Rob. Damn it. Robbie. New Dude. Super Mario Brothers. That is incorrect as well. So what you God damn it. Super Mario World and Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Oh well, Manny B. Uh incorrect. God damn it! <laughs> Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. You ever oh, play Mario man. and Luigi Superstar Saga? Uh, no, I just started playing uh, Mario & Luigi. Uh, maybe I am playing it right now. It's just on the, the Game, Game Boy, Boy Advance? Advance? Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing it on the Switch, the new Game Boy Advance thing that they got. Yeah. And I got... I played it for like six minutes and I fell asleep. But that's just because I'm tired. I was having I, a good time. I loved that game. I played that so much. And now that I know you can get it on the Switch, I might fucking do that. Yeah, it's free. Actually, uh, yeah, you might have to upgrade. Do you, do you get the uh, N64 one? No. Uh, you might have to upgrade that. All right, well, I'm it's like, it's like another five bucks a month or something like that. Of course it is. Yeah. Finish this line. Okay. Fastest pedal power west of the blank. Whack-a-mole, Mississippi, Pac-Man, Frogger. Andy. Andy. Whack-a-mole. It is whack-a-mole, yeah. Holy shit, I'm fucking crushing this trip. You are. All right, which famous video game protagonist was set to make an appearance, but ultimately did not. God. Uh, Scheduling conflict? Yes. All right. Uh, All right. Is it Mario, Luigi, Solid Snake, Alucard, or Mega Man? Rob. Solid Snake. Incorrect. Manny, Mega Man. Incorrect. God, uh, dude. Rob, Mario? Yes, Mario. I just feel Mario. like it wasn't Mario because they make so many references to him anyway. Yeah, the mushroom. Yeah, I mean, he is the video game character. Yeah. And honestly, uh, when they're in that uh, candy world, it almost felt like a Mario type of vibe. Like, that would have been a yeah. perfect place for him to make an appearance, or like Princess Peach or some shit. Sugar Rush yeah. felt like the land of chocolate from The Simpsons. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Holy shit! Yeah, Rainbow. Um, Road, yeah. It also felt like Candy Crush. Yes, it did. It did. Sarah Honestly, Silverman was a great choice for that character. Does, yes. Yeah, I agree. yeah. It truly gave that character dimensions. What word does Felix use that causes him to say, "Pardon my French"? Malarkey, baloney, boo, or diddly? Andy. Andy. Boo. It is boo, yeah. Holy fucking shit. Did I write your trivia? You did. Oh, shit. Well, that, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. So you sent it to me and said, yeah. here you go. <laughs> Yo, ask these questions. And then you, you even put, I won't answer them. <laughs> I lied, Robbie. I lied. Ah, oh, you scoundrel. I'm a real rascal. Um, which SNL alum was eyed for the voice of Fixit Felix? Was it David Spade? John Lovitz? Kevin Nealon or Dana Carvey? Rob. Yes. Kevin Nealon. 
Incorrect. Uh, Manny, John Lovitz. Correct. Oh, sweet. I get one. That John was... Lovitz. <laughs> All right. That would be the first job John Lovitz got since 1997. For real. <laughs> he wouldn't have worked. John C. Riley was a much better choice. No, for Fix It Felix. Oh, for Fix It Felix. Yeah. Oh. Um, Jack McBray was. Yeah, better yeah. choice. Yeah. John Lovitz, I could see as like King Candy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. But again, Alan Tudyk. Yeah, he's Alan yeah, Tudyk. I mean, exactly. I have two more questions. Mm -hmm. here. All right. The Titan Tron during the final race has four pop ups on it, four different sayings pop up on them. I'm going okay. to read five of them. You oh, tell geez. me which one did not show up on the Titan Tron. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Sure. Yes. Power up. Sweet Seekers. Cream Pie. Alamo. <laughs> Cherry Bomb. Andy. Andy. Cream Pie. It's definitely Cream yeah. Pie. <laughs> Yeah. All right, final question. Turbo calls Ralph a halitosis riddled blank. Pig, cow, gorilla, warthog. Warthog. Oh, Manny, warthog. It is warthog, yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yo, Andy, you'll never guess. You'll never believe what I did. I believe. I, you know what, Robbie? 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 You wrote a song. <laughs> I'm you in know? your head. Oh, you're giving I've me got, head. I've got telepathy. Oh, you're giving me telepathy. The doctor says it's terminal. Oh, no. Yeah. But this is the 18th week in a row. I have failed to bring a pick, so I'm just going to kill myself. Oh, I got you. I got you, brother. Oh, good. Brother. Flip, flip that pick. So we're going to play our songs. Andy's going to flip a pick, and I'm going to say heads. It is heads. Yes! 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 Alright. <laughs> My song, I'm going to go first. My song is called... I guess you could just go first then. Yeah! I won the coin toss, or the pick toss. That's Passive Aggressive Andy. It's a new character I'm working on. I like it. I like it. And, uh... My song is called Going Turbo. And it goes like Good this. Name. Good name. Thank you. Thank you.
That was my song called Going Turbo. Wow. I really like the the harmonies on Going Turbo. Is that like, do you have an effect on that? Yeah, Making I do. And you sound like a robot? Yeah. Robot Robbie. I put a little phaser effect on the harmony saying Going like Turbo. It. Thank like you. Toy, toy harmonies. Thanks. I was going to do a guitar solo, but uh, I hurt my wrist somehow. It's all better. I think I slept on it weird. Okay. Uh, I couldn't do a guitar solo, so I just didn't do one. You're a coward? Yeah. Uh, with a coward's heart? Yep. That's exactly what I am. Uh, that was I, good. Yeah, I really like uh, the sound of that. Like, uh, I felt like I, I would hear that like 80s, 90s. had like that type of feel in like a record store for some odd reason. Like I felt like I was I was there. It, did you it, did you feel like you were going turbo? Yeah, nice. like like just wearing like black sunglasses and shit. <laughs> I it's like, like turning uh, up. It's like I'm gonna turn up like it's a fucking Friday, but it's like really a Thursday morning or some shit. What nice. are you talking about? It's Monday because we release on Mondays. So. Nice. I like the on uh, Monday, baby. Yeah, let's do it. The uh, in between the going turbo, you got like that. I like that little run. The drums, I like that. Did you do that? No, the drums Uh, are programmed. And yes, thank you with the little... He's a robot. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It's all right, because my wrist was fucked up. I did the bass on the keyboard also. The keyboard was good. I like that. Thank you, yeah. That really tied everything together. Uh, uh, Yeah, that that run was so good, it gave me the runs. Oh, boy. I hit the brown note. (laughs) But yeah, so that was my song about Wreck It, Ralph. Uh, how about how about Wreck It Wally? Both W's. Rob, Rob, Rob. The W in Wreck is silent. <laughs> oh, he's kind. He's it's like kind. every woman I sleep with, they're silent. Oh, because you've drugged them. Nope, nope, because I'm bad in bed. Oh. Well, my song, um, my song is called uh, uh, "Bad Guy," I believe. Oh shit! I didn't even think of that. That's <laughs> all right. People would not be confused. No, they would never be. Yeah, William Eyelash. Very good. Thank you. I have um, eyelashes. I have eyebrows. Nice. Um. Yeah, and uh, it it's called Bad Guy, and it's about the movie Wreck It Ralph.
I really like that. I really like the guitar in that a lot. Thank you. I also um, like uh, at the end of me. I really like that at the end of yeah, the chorus. That, that's rock and roll. Um, <laughs> yep, that, that is absolutely yes, rock and roll. Golly, <laughs> yeah, rock and roll. Um, <laughs> the, the chorus is just the pledge that they say yeah. in, the, in their meeting because I, I really like that. And uh, I really liked that he says it as he's going to like save the day by making the big sacrifice like as he's falling he's like i'm not good but that's not bad and it, like i forgot what i already forgot what it is but it's like it's good it's just, again this movie is well done yes it, like it all everything comes full circle i like this movie i don't know if you knew that no i, I gathered man definitely um, yeah also, uh, a, a canine could sm- sniff that suitcase from a mile away. Nice. <laughs> yeah. um, the uh, have have either of you seen the sequel? Yes. No, I good? I haven't. Yes. Yeah, I was gonna ask. It it is was. It, yeah. Is it yeah. as good? Probably not. Okay. No sequel fail. It is, fail it is worth watching. Time. It's definitely worth watching. I thought I liked it when I saw it. I saw it in theaters when it first came out, but I haven't seen the sequel since. So. Okay. I might you check that give out. That a in, go, I guess. Yeah. On my own leisure. Very so good. I, yeah. I really enjoyed this movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't forget your leisure suit. You know me. Hey, it's a video game, Leisure Suit Larry. Oh boy. You ever play that game? <sighs> Maybe Larry. once years a million years ago with my friends. I never played it. I hear, I hear awful. I hear it's, it's just like, like heinous. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's what you thought was funny when you were in fifth grade. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Andy, we've reached the end. So now it's time for you to log on to Reddit. And you, you know, no, we're not going to do that for this movie. Never mind. We're not doing that for this. <laughs> There's a, I feel like the only female character is a little kid, Robbie. That's, well, no, it was gonna, I was going to have you do the sergeant. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know because you don't see women. I don't see oh, anything, Robbie. Man. I'm blind. That's that's true. It's You're incredible. an ableist <laughs> son of a bitch. I'm a stableist. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I'm Andy, a what stapler. are we? Stapler. Very good. Thank very you. very good. Thank Andy, you. what are we doing next week? Let me tell you, Robbie. Let me tell you. Tell me. Let me tell you right now. Tell me now. Let me tell you. Right I asked you, and I have the list up because I'm putting you on the spot, like you do to me. I Let can just say it right anytime. Let's, Let's tell the me. FCC. Yeah. It is the Matrix. It is the Matrix. Yeah. Oh, Starring man. I would love to do that movie, man. Shit. Well, sucks. Do you want the red pill or the blue pill? By I the hope way, they're suppositories. Nope, but they both have fentanyl. Oh, my Ooh, gosh. Long Island special. Yeah. Manny, thank you for joining us today. Dude, thank you for having me, gentlemen. Yeah. So, um, where can yeah. they find you on the socials? Slam comedy. That's, that's <laughs> all right. It. Yeah, that, yeah, just just look that up. <laughs> look up slam comedy on the socials for Manny. Manny, you got anything anything else to promote? Um, I just uh, wait for a fundraiser that I'll be producing with Long Island Cares. Um, every single dollar that goes towards your ticket goes right towards food banks that really need it in your communities. So, um, yeah, I think that's the only project that matters at the moment. So I just got to finish that up and I guess to be determined, right? Very cool. I I have a charity called Long Island Hares and we just save rabbits. Wow. Uh, Um, A lot of, a lot of backyards are, you know. That was Cheering. a joke. That was. That I, was I a, know, I know. A tasteless joke. <laughs> tasteless Long joke. Island hair. But Just look donate at... it to bald men. No, fuck them. I'll, t- yeah. I'll take some. <laughs> <laughs> See, we got a customer. Yeah. I know like two people with widow's peaks. I mean, I'll put it on my back though. All in your back? Yeah, I like a hair. I got a weird fetish. I'm oh, gonna, I'm put gonna it on do my, my partner's armpits. privates. Wow. Yeah. So I could really dive into some bush. Uh, <laughs> Just swim in it. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah. So check out Long Island Cares. Check out Slam Comedy for upcoming events. 
You said Thank so I could really dive into some bush. <laughs> <laughs> Weird transition. Uh, dive into funny. some bush. Where can they find our music? Okay, so you go to Spotify. You Spotify. go to Apple Music. Apple Music. Go to Deezer. You go to Deezer. You go to anywhere you get your music, and you you, you search the Roids. That's R O Y D S. And uh, we got two albums. We got a Christmas song. And then you could go to Bandcamp. I'm sorry, the roids.bandcamp.com. And there you will find a large abundance of songs that we did for this podcast. So songs about movies. Your favorite movie. Shrek. Uh, Shrek the Third. Or whatever the fuck that's called. That's it your called favorite Shrek movie. The third. I fucking hate you. Uh, and then... Um, What's another shitty movie? Wild Wild West. Uh, but then we also did good movies like Goodfellas. We Do you did. think Fiona's sexy? Did you <clears throat> sex appeal there? Yeah. Yeah, I, I you know, in the both fourth sides, one, hell yeah. Fourth one, because she's like a strong, independent woman. Fourth You're both one? weird. Maybe You're both more. freaks. Yeah. She's green, but gone. <laughs> what if I what if I told you I got green green uh green dye in somewhere in my bedroom? What if I told you that? I think you do tie dyeing. Yeah, if you're into Shrek, you're into like She Hulk or whatever. I guess. Yeah, she She Hulk, right? There's a she, difference. She Hulk isn't. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, she's pretty nice. It's really just the antennas, you know. Yeah. So. Um, All right, perfect. next week to Matrix. <laughs> Check us out on the social medias. You can find us on Instagram at the underscore Roids. Twitter, The Roids Band. YouTube, The Roids Band. TikTok, The Roids. Send us an email, roidsreview at gmail.com. That's R-O-Y-D-S-R-E-V-U-E at gmail.com. And give us a five-star review. And, like, leave some comments. But, hey, they're really good. I like this. Uh, And then write write three stars. So give it five stars and then write three at the bottom. Yeah. Um, Tell your friends. And uh, thank you again for listening. Yes, thank you again for listening. And tune into The Matrix next week. Thank you, Manny, for being here. Thank you for having me, guys. Look up their shit, people. Yeah, people. Bye. Bye.